All right, so I'm out here this afternoon with Jethro. We're doing a little remote collar work. And I want to just kind of touch base on the difference between Nick and Continuous. We get that question asked a lot. So what I'm going to do is look at both buttons right now as uh, a Nick. So if I use Nick, the duration on that is probably about 1 16th, 1 8th of a second. I guess that would be contingent on the manufacturer. And if I use Continuous as a Nick, so basically just pressing and releasing right away, um, quarter of a second duration half second duration uh, the key is, is that if I put it on my hand and I find a level using continuous that I just recognize so say like on a dog tra for me it'd be about 26 if I go straight from there to the neck there's a significant difference in the way it feels uh, only because the duration shorter I haven't changed the level it's just that the duration shorter so for me if I'm out working a dog and I see that if I bump them on continuous, it looks a little strong. I'll just go right to the neck versus uh, adjusting the level up and down. Some of the other advantages to using continuous is when it comes to doing uh, cadence on a dog. So cadence is just a rhythmic uh, continuing pulsing of the collar until the dog recognizes turns and comes in or whatever it is you're trying to achieve, whether it's recall or just direction changes. So if I'm using cadence on continuous, the advantage is that I can keep the stem in longer bursts so if i'm going bump 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 if i'm on continuous i can go bump 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 if i'm on nick i can only vary how often those taps come the other thing is if i'm working a dog on cadence and he gets hung up what i can do is actually move straight to using continuous out out of cadence so a lot of times if a dog's not responding to the cadence and i want to pull him through something I'll just add continuous leash pressure and then I'll add the e-collar pressure as well and then once the dog breaks and comes the direction I want them to I'll just release both of them at the same time so it's just kind of a couple different ways to look at both of those buttons and um, a few varieties and how to use them so we're gonna take Jet out here and go work them and see if we can't demonstrate some of it okay I'm out here working with Jethro just doing some taps and turns with them on the remote collar and I'm gonna be using the continuous button and that's going to be varying whether it's one tap or two taps or whether I go into cadence or whether I go into full continuance uh, with him. So let's see how he does. So you see there's cadence. Let's just tap him one and turn and see what he does here. So here's continuous. I'm going to put some pressure on the leash and pull them through that. So there's continuous. And here's a tap. Right there. So it's gonna help to break it down for them a little bit easier so I can eventually get just to do one tap and turn, one tap and turn. But being that he's still a little new on it and early on in the game, I'm gonna use a variation on leash pressure, cadence, and e-pressure. There we go. So one tap stopped him, the second tap got him moving. Now go to continuous and pull him through that stem. Helps clear it up for him a lot easier. Jethro, good job, buddy. So that's it. Hope that kind of clears things up for you between the difference between continuous and Nick and cadence and continuous pulling the dog through the stem. And thanks to Jethro for uh, participating.